in the opening bout this afternoon. As we step in closer to the bigger uh, men in this competition, um, you know, the volleys uh, score and they, they register a little bit more with the bigger guys. And uh, I think it seems to uh, get another level of attention from the crowd when you say heavyweights or you say, uh, you know, bigger guys. It's just, again, just three minutes and three rounds, but uh, there will be uh, more behind every punch coming up here. Now, here is Maroy Sadiki a.k.a. The Buffalo, professional boxer with a 15-2-1 record. We actually we had a little bit of a discrepancy with some of the information because on the official listing of athletes, his uh, date of birth was 1998. Well, we uh, clarified that. Yeah, we can see he's not 21. And we saw a video he's where not 21. <laughs> the Buffalo was up uh, against a, another opponent. Bolivia. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was just fun to see uh, the buffalo in his natural habitat. And now, Sandy Sam Sun Young. Again, he's 34. Yeah. I, I think he's actually the, he might be the younger of the two. Because Marawai Siddiqui is not 21, as we've established. Right. Um, but, uh, Age is just a number. And these, uh, is. these men will come in here with, uh, with a real purpose. And uh, I'm always in, you know, I always like that first 30 seconds. What, what's the attitude? What's the tactic? And, you know, again, it's three rounds, three minutes around, nine minutes to punch to continue on your journey to possibly making it all the way to Tokyo 2020. And, um, you know, these are both seasoned veterans, I'll say, who have been in the ring and been, been in big, big moments. But uh, certainly now at this stage, uh, this is as large as it gets for them. It's an added frisson, I think, for the Olympic qualification. And uh, let's see if the Buffalo... Will, will he live up to his? Are we going to see him charge forward? I think that's. Uh, I, th what I, we're expecting, I would imagine isn't that's it? where the nickname came from. That he was relentless. Of course, heavyweights. And, yeah. The punches a bit heavier as the referee from UK, Ukraine, runs them through last instructions. And you see the uh, little sign of the crowd, and there's a pretty good crowd right behind him there. There are. You can see the DR Congo flags. For Maroy Siddiqui in the red up against Sandy Sam Sanyang in the blue. So just landing with the inside of the glove. Referee. And this is a, it's a bit of a home ring advantage here. They're on top of the ring and really letting letting their man know. Yeah, but and San, Sanyang is yeah. the one who's driving Siddiqui back. Yes, he is. They're not sizing each other up. They're both trying to land the big punch straight away as Siddiqui wrestles his man to the floor. And uh, that's 40 seconds gone. And I uh, haven't seen too many bouts end inside the distance. No. We can see had that stoppage on cuts in our opening contest. And but are, wow, there's a big left. Unloading. San Yang, big left which lands, but Siddiqui takes it well. That bit more power as we go up the weight classes. More damaging impact in the shots. Of course, with the heavyweights, we'll have a super heavyweight contest coming up next. One punch could 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 end it. Interesting that the, both of these uh, men are just three wins from an Olympic bid, based on the way the draw goes. Absolutely, it's just so uh, it's, it's right there. I mean, it's it's a ways down the road, but uh, there's uh, certainly impetus. Yeah, just 11 boxers in the heavyweight class here in Dakar, so a real chance. Oh, there's oh, that there now, Siddiqui. Wow. That lands. was sneaky. 
just a short right, it seemed to be. And, uh, San Yang is down. But Siddiqui, you can see him not getting too careful. That's a big left, yep. and there's a standing eight. Uh, and you can see the legs are wobbly. Trouble. We haven't had a, a, a stoppage like this yet. We haven't. So we had a knockdown and a standing eight. And San Yang, who started promisingly, is on the wrong end here. And he's in trouble. He's just hanging on now. Word from the referee. None of that. But he just needs to buy some time. Try and perhaps land one of his own. But Siddiqui over the oh, top again. Just, and and there it to... is. There's another standing eight. My goodness. he. Uh... And I think that could be a stoppage. That, that is. is that's it. it. In round one, the Buffalo strikes. And look at the crowd just above him. They're <laughs> dancing <laughs> in the Siddiqui. aisles. Maroy Siddiqui, an emphatic victory in the opening round. And as you say, Tom, he's just two wins away from place at the Olympics. Two spots up for grabs in the heavyweight division. And he's made the perfect start. And uh, the Buffalo has set this uh, arena off into uh, uh, quite a tizzy. You can hear him. San Yang just having his gloves removed before he moves into the center of the ring for the decision. He'll obviously be disappointed, but big smile. Maroy Siddiqui. You get a sense of the power because... Uh, it was but one with either one. He, I think he caught him with a left and a right on some of the, the knockdown and the standing eights. Just waiting for the decision. Being announced and you see Maroy Siddiqui's fist raised in the air. There it is. Winner by referee stops contest. Round one. Maroy Siddiqui goes on to the quarterfinals and he will face Kenya's Eli Ochola. Oh man, you saw the left is what hurt him here, but he kept coming in and maybe that was part of the problem when he got caught. One left, you can see the knockdown, but uh, you see the party up there uh, in <laughs> the above ring this. B. They are around for another couple days. Absolutely. At least. So Maroy Siddiqui faces Elio Chola in the quarterfinals. Chola, third seed and African Games bronze medalist. But uh, Siddiqui 